welcome back to the channel i asked on instagram yesterday if yens wanted me to post my pre-op pep talk to myself and yen said yes so here it is oh and p.s you're gonna see a side of me that i don't think yens have ever seen before because i kind of like got really intense like i really had to get in my head so anyway here's the pep talk look at you who are you anymore Last I checked, you're still Nikki. Are you seriously about ready to let something this stupid and this minor scare you? Are you a strong lion or are you a timid gazelle? Because the last time I checked, you are a lion. You do not let anything like this scare you. You are the daredevil out of all your friends and you're telling me you're afraid of surgery? Why? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of going under? because you did it last time and everything was good. Are you afraid of losing your boo? I don't think so. You don't care. They're just stupid boobs. Seriously, they serve no purpose. And whenever they did, they failed me. What's the matter? What are you afraid of, losing your ovaries? Seriously, girl, you're gonna have all those hormones out of you and you're gonna deal with 10 times better. You know why? No more birth control. No more chances of cancer coming back. Hopefully, lock on wood because you won't have the hormones. And seriously, who are you? What's your name? You're Nikki. You have Cervantes blood running through your veins. Are you a Mexican or a Mexican? Because I know your grandfather would be very disappointed if you found out you were this scared of nothing. You're not even afraid of cancer. Whenever you got your cancer diagnosis, you were more scared of the surgery than you were about the cancer itself. Who does that? you do that so why are you afraid of surgery this time you're not afraid of pain you know what to expect you know you're gonna have your reach back in a week what is bothering you you're still gonna have asher here you can't hold him for six weeks but you can still play with him you can still feed him you're still his mom you're gonna be here for every milestone that he has this stupid surgery that you're having done it's nothing it's a little hiccup and you know what? Whenever you're done with it, you get to move on to radiation and you're going to be done with your treatments after that. Why are you scared? You never let fear get in your way. When you broke your back, you didn't listen to the doctors. You still conditioned. You made yourself stronger. And in less than a year, you were back in the gym. You knew you had back pain, that me. But instead of letting your fear stop you of being hurt, you went and balded. You didn't do very well, you flew on the table, but you still did it. Do you know why? Because you're Nikki. Because you don't let things stop you. Whenever you had all your other injuries, you yeah, did what you had to do to get back in the gym. Why is this any different? Why stop now? What are you afraid of? You're gonna come out of the surgery and you're gonna come home. You're gonna come home to your son. You're gonna come home to Andy. You're gonna be at your parents' house for six weeks, but so what, you're gonna get catered to. You're going to do your exercises, you're going to have that reach back, and you can do everything you possibly can. You're still Asher's mom even if you can't hold him for six weeks. Just because you can't pick him up doesn't mean you can't do anything with him. And really, is that what's stopping you? Is that what this fear is coming from? Because the last time I checked, you were afraid of anesthesia because it makes you nauseous. Nauseous. Guess what? They give you meds to counteract that. So let me ask you again. Who are you? What's your name? You're Nikki. You get what you want. And you know what else? We have the Olympic trials coming up. You have to see who's going to make the men's and women's gymnastics team. You have to see who's going to represent us. You got to see who's going to dominate Tokyo. We already know Simone Biles is going, but who's going to be the other ones? Who's going to be on that team? You're going to have to be there. You're going to watch it. Whenever your mom had her surgery, we were in Olympic year. It just so happens that this is the same year, only a year later. So technically it's not, but you know what? That doesn't stop you. You're still going to watch the Olympics. You're still going to be here. You're going to do everything you possibly can because you don't know when to give up. You don't know when to quit. That's why cancer can't control you. Oh, and you know what else? You have a great team of doctors. 
You got Dr. Cox working on you. You got Dr. Fergiwelli working on you. Seriously, what are you afraid of? These are the same doctors who saved your mom's life. This is the same surgeon who did your first surgery that you've ever had your entire life. Yeah, you were scared then, but you know what? You still went in there, you still faced it, and you still came out all right. This one is no different. Okay, you're at a different hospital, big deal. But you know what? Dr. Fergiwelli already said they're gonna treat you like a princess, and that's what you are. You're a princess. Your hair's growing back. Your nails are done. And you know what? You're still you. Out of everything you've been through, you're still you. You didn't lose who you were with this cancer diagnosis. You still kept your positive attitude. You still kept that smile on your face. Girl, you were working out while you were at chemo. Who does that? You were in your chemo cubicle working out. You're telling me you're afraid of surgery? Cancer had nothing on you. Chemo has nothing on you. This surgery is probably the easiest thing out of this whole treatment that you are going to have to do. Why are you scared? Again, who are you? You're a lion. Are you a Mexican or a Mexican? You're a Mexican and you know it. You know you are. You got this. You know who you are. Whenever you had to lose your hair, whenever you were going through chemo, did you cry about it? No. Instead, you got it chopped off and you donated it to kids who needed wigs because they were going through chemo. You wanted them to feel beautiful. Whenever you were losing your hair from chemo, even though it was short, when you were losing your hair, did you just wait for it to fall out? Did you have a little pity party? No, you went to your friend's house and let her shave it off. You were in control. You're always in control. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let it get in your way. Seriously. Who are you? You don't stop. You're not afraid. You're gonna do it. And you're gonna go to surgery on Friday and you're gonna have a smile on your face, your same positive attitude, and you're just gonna be you. That's all you need to do. You know why? Because everything else is in good hands. It's taken care of. You got this. And whenever you're healed, you know what happens? You get to work out again. You get to focus on getting your body back. And yeah, it's coming back. It is. But you know what? You're going to have your abs back by the end of this year because I know you and you don't know when to stop. You don't know when to quit. You are stubborn and that's just how it is. You're doing this for Asher. I don't care about doing it for me. This isn't about me. This is not making sure you're going to be here for your son. You're going to be here for every milestone. You're not going to miss his life because you're not going to let something stupid take you. You're gonna be a survivor just like your mom. You have a great role model. Why are you so scared? You saw everything that your mom went through. You were 17 years old whenever your mom was going through this and you're telling me that this version of you can't handle that? That's a joke. That is a joke. When you got your cancer diagnosis, you just gave a big F you to it. You didn't even care. You're like, all right, let's do this. What do I have to do? I'm going to beat this and it's not going to take me because it takes the wrong person. Where's that, Nikki? Why are you scared? You're not scared. You're better than this. You are so much better than this. You have your little boy looking up to you. He knows how strong you are because he was in surgery with you whenever you had to get your first mastectomy. He went through your first round of chemo with you. That's how he knows you're strong. He did this with you. He knows everything you're capable of. So tell me again, why are you afraid? You're not. I know you. I know you better than anybody. And I know this is something that you're gonna get through and overcome, and that's just how it is. That's all that's gonna happen. You're gonna get on with your life whenever you're done with all this. Your hair's gonna be long again, which we all know how terrible that was for you to have to get it cut because we know how much you love your hair. Tell me again why you're afraid. You have all the confidence you need. I know because I am looking at you right now in the mirror. You know what I see? I see a beautiful badass who can do anything because you're Nikki and you always get what you want. Don't let this be any different. Don't let this stop you. Trust God. Put all your faith in God like I know you do. And you're going to be fine. I know this for a fact. 
because I see the person that you are and I know, I know you're gonna do this because you are capable of anything. And you're the one person I know who never stops dreaming. You never give up on your dreams. You are such an inspiration for people that you don't even know. They don't know you. They look at you and you're like, oh my gosh, she is going through all of this. And she's still great. Like she's still working out. She's still happy. She's still positive. You are such a role model for everybody. That's the Nikki that I know. That's the Nikki who is gonna come out strong because you are strong. You are one of the strongest persons I know. The only person who probably has you beat is your mom and you have her as a role model. So tell me again, why are you scared? You don't even have an answer. There is no answer to it. Stop being a coward, go face your fears, get through it and move on with your life because that's what you have to do. And that's what I know you're gonna do. Go beat this, go into surgery and come out with a smile on your face and possibly Chick-fil-A. I'll see if I can talk my husband into getting me Chick-fil-A because that's what I really want. That's the first thing I want from surgery aside from being able to give Asher a hug and then I'm like, no I can't. I'm gonna have to behave because I know if I try to do something and I try to pick him up, I'm just gonna prolong everything. It's just gonna be longer than I have to wait to hold him. But you know what? You can still read to him. You can still play with him. You can still watch cartoons with him. And you can still teach him. So tell me again, and this is the last time I'm asking you, why are you scared? Man up, throw a pair, do what you gotta do, because I know you can do this. And I know you have such a great support system to get you through it. So we're not crying this time. We're not gonna cry like we did the first surgery. We're gonna have Jesse with us. I'm gonna have my little cheerleader bunny. You know what else? I got my whole family. Because they're the one who always has my back. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get a surgery. And we're gonna take Bud. And you're gonna remember who you are. Say your name, learn your name. Everybody should know your name. Everybody should know who you are because you are one heck of a woman and you are doing everything you possibly can. And you're doing great at it. I have never seen you fail. And whenever you do fail or you do fall, you get right back up till life it hits like a bitch and you move on because you know you can take it. You know you're gonna advance and you know you're gonna level up. Just like the gym, every time you gotta hit that PR, you always do it, always do it, always do it. This is no different. Face surgery, like you're facing a heavier set of weights. You don't stop, you don't let it scare you. This is no different. You're Nikki. Don't ever forget that. And this pep talk kinda goes for anything in life, it's not necessarily surgery. I threw in a lot of things that I had to deal with over the very many years I've been doing fitness and just everything that I've had to face my whole life, every obstacle, every setback. And you can use this for your own motivation. You can give yourself a pep talk and really throw that stuff in. I think it helps me mentally prepare for things that I don't want to do or things that I have anxiety over. So let me know what you think. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.